Hi everyone, my name is Pete Connor. I am a digital transformation consultant here at DocuSign. In this video, we'll be looking at DocuSign's comments feature. So how to post comments to a document, how to view comments, how to reply to a comment, and how to view comment history. If you're unfamiliar with comments, they provide envelope recipients with the ability to ask questions, provide feedback, make remarks on documents that they've received, and in turn, envelope senders or other envelope recipients can view and reply to those comments. Comments are a great way for senders and recipients to participate in real-time collaboration, and a record of comment exchanges is stored in DocuSign in case this information needs to be accessed later on. So without further ado, let's take a look at comments in action. We should see the DocuSign website. Now we're looking at the settings page because in order to use comments, they need to be enabled on your account. And in order to enable them, you must be an administrator with full administrative rights. If comments aren't enabled on your account, then please do contact your administrator or contact DocuSign customer support. So in this case, I am an administrator. I do have full rights. Um, on the settings page, I'll go down to comments on the left-hand side here. I'll click into that and we see a few options here. So the first one is very simply enable comments in envelopes sent from this account. And this is an account-wide setting. So it affects all users and all envelopes. Um, now, the next option here, uh, allow senders to override. So by default, if you have the first setting enabled, enable comments, then comments are enabled by default for every, every envelope sent from the account. But if you enable the second setting here, you're allowing your senders uh, the ability to disable comments on envelopes that they send out. And finally, the last option, include comment text in email notifications when a comment is posted. This means that when enabled, if someone makes a comment to me, uh, I receive an email notification, I can see the comment right in the email rather than needing to click into the document to view the comment. Um, the only caveat to this is comment text is not included if the envelope requires additional authentication by recipients. For instance, if I'm the sender, I send an envelope to a recipient and I require that that recipient enter an access code in order to view the documents. In that case, if comments are made um, on that document, then those comments cannot be viewed by that recipient because that, in, the, in the email notification, because that recipient needs to enter an access code in order to view the document, in order to view the comments. So hopefully all that makes sense. Now that we have comments enabled on our account, we're gonna go into my email because I have a DocuSign envelope and I'd like to review it and I have a comment for the sender. So first I'll agree to the legal disclosure. I'll click continue and I'm reviewing the document. It's very simple. I am going to uh, agree to pay $1,000. But my question for the sender is when does this offer expire? So in order to comment back to the sender, I'll go to the top here. There's a comment icon. I'll click that and then I'll click back onto the document where I wanna post the comment. Um, and just a tip here for best practices, um, it's probably wise to put the comment next to the section of the document that the comment relates to. So the recipient of the comment knows what you're referring to. So now that I've clicked onto the document, I can add my comment text here. So I'm gonna say, when does this offer expire? And before I post it, I have the option to choose who the recipients are. So in this case, I'm gonna choose that the other recipient on this document also receives the comment. So, so they're aware of the communication back and forth. And before I post, I do wanna point out that uh, there's no, you don't have the ability to delete or edit a comment. So once you post it, it's finalized. You can't go back and change anything or delete it. So I'll proofread it, it looks good. I'll post it. Um, and before I post, uh, there is a disclosure just letting me know, hey, you're about to comment. Um, do you agree to this? In this case, yes, I do. Okay, so I posted a comment. Now let me go back into the DocuSign web application. I'll go to the homepage. And there's two ways to view comments. The first is you can view them in your email. And the second is you can view them through the DocuSign website. So I'm on the website now. Um, up at the top on the right-hand side, there's a little bell icon. 
that is the notification center. So if I have a red dot, that means I have a new comment or a new reply. So I'm gonna click into the red dot. I'll go to unread. I see I have a new comment. I'll click into the comment and I'm taken directly into the document. So I see one of my recipients has a question. When does this offer expire? So I'll click reply and I'll say it expires today. Okay, so that looks good. I'll reply to that and I'm all done. So I'll close that out. So that's how to view a comment in DocuSign and reply to that comment. But as I mentioned, you can also do that via email. So let me click back into my email and I should have received a new comment. When does the offer expire? It expires today. Let me view the document as the commenter who initially wrote the comment and I'll continue. And um, I see that my question has been answered. It expires today. I review the document, everything looks good. So I'll sign it, I'll apply my signature and I'm all finished up. So I'll click finish. So that's really it for comments. Now I do want to point out a couple nuances with comments. So first of all, you can control the comment notifications in your My Preferences area on your DocuSign account. So go to My Preferences. If you go to Notifications, you'll see that there are sending notifications, AKA notifications that come to you when you're the sender and recipient notifications, AKA notifications that come to you when you're the recipient of an envelope. Uh, and each section has notifications about comments. So a comment is posted in an envelope I've sent. If this is enabled, then you receive the comments and you can choose, do you want to receive all comments or only comments that mention me or are private to me? And the same goes for the recipient notification. So you have the same options there. Um, my thinking, just my two cents, you probably wanna be aware of comments um, in envelopes that you send out and envelopes that are sent to you, um, but that's just my thinking. Now, the very last thing I wanna show here is uh, if you recall, when we were in the settings page, um, we had the ability to allow for senders to disable comments in envelopes that they send out. So let me show how that works. So if I'm the sender, I go to send an envelope. And right now we're on what we call the prepare screen. If I go to advanced options on the top right hand side and scroll all the way to the bottom, we'll see that I have the option to disable comments. So this is at the envelope level. And that's really it for comments. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, for additional information, please see the links below. Uh, lastly, please subscribe to our channel and check out the other videos that cover additional DocuSign topics. And yeah, thanks so much and goodbye.